Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick catch up on my back garden. Just have a spin around. That's my greenhouse there. This is my border that I let get wild this year. Thought I'd give it another chance. I'm not spending anything on here at all. You've seen pentamens looking well. Looking really well, though. A quick walk on here. Here's the untidy corner. With my plant pots in it. Small pentamens. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's the old seen down to the greenhouse what i'm going to be doing with this is weeding it some more and then i've got plenty of little baby foxgloves here digitalis that i'm going to be digging up and planting over there so i'm going to get all this in order get these planted in properly my lawn mower and yeah these are my pots potted up these are my begonias that are starting to look really nice now just see the flowers just starting to appear. Well, that's come off. But yeah, that's starting to look really nice. I love that really deep red. Absolutely gorgeous. This has got some nice, really nice dahlias in it. There's a dinner plate dahlia in the corner. That one's from a tuber, but the rest have been grown from seed. This will be flowering shortly. Another two pots. This one's dinner plate. Yep, this is a got some lovely petunias in I'll be taking some cuttings off these shortly as you can see looking really really nice Have plenty of rain today but they're still looking really well and they've got two dinner plate dahlias one each one each of it you don't be like 12 inches across those when they do a finely flower I had to put some slug pellets down which I don't like doing these days but I had to do because they were just getting absolutely hammered with the slugs and snails and look at the difference that's probably it five days growth that absolutely massive now spin round i've got these two beautiful half moon pots oh these flowers are absolutely gorgeous these were from fabrics nurseries these I've got three one two and this is the third one here some beautiful flowers on my petunias there spin round these are Poppies, the first real poppy flowers of the season. They're all closed up because of the rain. It's like paper tissue. And yet, as you can see down there, everything looking nice. Nice pink geraniums. These little finiums. You can grow from seed. They were kept in pots last year, which was a big mistake. I planted them in the border and they took off like rockets. Really amazing. This poppy, I mean, look how many flower heads on that. Probably 12, 15. That's going to look really nice. Some beautiful Achillea here. Look at the flowers on those. Absolutely divine. Green fly. I don't know if you can see those there. But I've not sprayed these till this year. Luckily, I keep getting bouts of ladybird larvae that come on. Absolutely eat them all. Here we have a quick pan round. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just trying to get a bit of a close up. Let's begin. These were two absolutely gorgeous, absolutely humongous plants. These were Fabrics Nurseries. They wasn't the, they weren't the cheapest in the world, but they were definitely worth it. I think they were 12, 12, 15 pound each of begonias, but you can see the size of them absolutely humongous. I had to put a cane in both of them just to support them a little bit. These are my uh, pentamens grown from seed. Everything in here has been grown from seed except for some bulbs, except for some plants I've transplanted. Everything is seed and cuttings, which I'm really pleased with. These pentamens are, look at the flowers on those, absolutely breathtaking, aren't they? Here are my pots there. Let's just if we get round the back here, just have a little good look at this. And if you look at this, the size of this is absolutely. There's my hand next to it. That's the size of the plant. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I have to put another cane in that because I can, I can feel the weight of it. Then we've got the one here. Forget the name of this one. I haven't got the name tag. I don't think. Can I? Oh, I have. The name tag is. There you go. Whispers. So yeah, really nice. I think the other one's called Mrs. McLaughlin or something like that. But yeah, these have been deadheaded 
and look at the flowers and that absolutely beautiful but the weight is immense so I have to tie that one up as well just have a quick look around here without tripping over anything wow. these are plants still to go in these are what's left over my pentamens I just want to see what colour they are going to be and yeah fox glove in the middle there these are my beautiful cosmos I pruned them back last week Cut the middle out because they were just single stems. I'm really pleased with them now. Really bushed out well. But I want to put canes on these, otherwise they're going to snap off. These are some pentamens that I planted a few weeks ago. They're three, four times taller than the ones that are still in the pots. Some beautiful poppies. They're self-seeded. They'll be nice. Fox live there. These are two. Pelagoniums, I forgot to water. I've had these. This is the second year. Really worried about them. But they are coming back really, really well. I'm feeding them regularly now. I'm watering them regularly. And I'll show get rid of all this up there. But you can see there, I've got my uh, loopies at the back there. So yeah, everything looking really well. That's a quick tour of my back garden. If you've got any questions, I hesitate to ask, folks. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Remember, happy sowing, happy growing. Thank you for watching and please keep safe. Thank you. Bye.